There we go. There we go. We're on. We're... Away she goes. All right, what is going on, guys? So today, this is going to be pretty much the first time I've fished in about two months. Uh, I decided to take a break from fishing and YouTube and everything for a bit. Uh, I'll explain about that a little bit later in the video because I'm sure some people are interested why I'd want to do that. But yeah, we're back into it now. Got my mojo back and I'm excited for fishing. Uh, so yeah, decided to come to a local drain. Got to do a bit of pike fishing. It's I wanted to go perch fishing, but it's like really windy, uh, which is yeah not ideal for light fishing. So yeah, we're going to be throwing some big baits today. I'm going to be starting with this 26 centimeter, if I'll focus. 26 centimeter coffee roach probably like the biggest swim bait i've got absolute beast uh mahi mahi color nice bright one uh, we've got really colored water um i normally like to use dark lures in colored water but we are i don't know if you can see out the window but pretty low light conditions so yeah we'll see how it goes it's really cold it's really windy it's raining a bit but I've, yeah, hopefully we'll catch some fish. Like I said, first time fishing in about two months. So I'm pretty excited. And um, yeah, not much else to say. Just hope we catch something. If not, we'll, yeah, we're gonna probably do a bit of spot hopping. We've got about eight hours of daylight. 8 a.m. now, it gets dark about four. So yeah, we'll see. See what happens in that time. And I doubt I'll have to fish for eight hours. It'll be pretty miserable if I do to get one fish. But yeah, hopefully we can get a few this morning. And uh, yeah. See what happens. Right guys, just pulled up to the spot. As you can see, the water is mega colored. Uh, so we've got a big bait. We've got a little catfish rattle on there. I forgot my glass rattles, so that'll have to do. Uh, visibility is about six inches. <laughs> so not brilliant, but this should give off tons of vibration and everything. So hopefully I'll draw some fish up. But yeah, see what happens. It's very cold, it's very windy. Hopefully, fish are in the mood to bite. I'm gonna actually move a bit further up this little drain and work back down to where I am. I just sort of want to do a few casts where I park just to see what visibility and that will like. So yeah, after this cast, I'm gonna move down to where I want to start and work back up to this spot. Probably a bit further along as well. Hopefully, run into a fish or two. Ooh. All right. Up to where I want to start now. It's only been out of five minutes and I already can't feel my fingers. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough session. Hopefully we'll get a couple of fish quick. But, yeah, I don't know, I've been fishing this year. Like I said, I've not fished it for a while since this water's coloured up. Last time I fished here, it was pretty clear and now, as you can see, it's chocolatey, but that doesn't make the fishing harder at all. It, um, yeah, just changes how you have to fish. You just have to make sure you've got a bit of noise or vibration. Usually, find a fish or two, but we'll see. See if they're in the mood for it today. Okay, I think I'm gonna change color. I'm gonna keep the same bait. I think I'm gonna put like a natural roach pattern on um just to see just to see how they react to it uh, i've not had a follow or a bite on this color yet uh so yeah worth a change see what's what i think my uh roach one's got some glass rattles in it as well so that's more attraction so yeah take the mahi mahi off I've not had any action on it and go for a natural roach okay go for the natural roach it's got like a platinum white color so it's yeah nice contrast a lot more rattles in this one so let's see how this goes pretty i'm pretty confident that we will get a fish pretty soon to be fair just need to figure out the pattern of them first figure out where they're sat sort of mood they're in whether they're uh, aggressive hungry just you know curiously hitting baits or whatever so we'll see feel a bit more confident with this with the more rattles in it anyway
There we go. There we go. We're on. We're freaking on. That's not big. It's not big, but yes. Yes. Watch that one swoop out for it then. That was awesome. Don't come off, baby. Don't come off, baby. I need you. <laughs> come here, buddy. Yes. Oh, she's wrapped. <laughs> Bit wrapped up in the net there buddy but there's the first pike all right guys super windy it's just starting to rain but we got the first fish it's no monster by any means but i'll tell you that was the first one today it was probably like a 75 but nice to get on that big bait such a cold fish. We'll, uh, I'm gonna get a quick length on it and then I'll uh, get it back. Ooh. See how she goes. She is, oh, pretty much oh, 78. So, wasn't too far off with a 75 guess, but well happy with that. Get to slip back quick as I can. See you, buddy. Yes first fish out of the way finally got the bait out of the net 26 centimeter coffee roach go big or go home strategy paid off got the first one out of the way feel confident for another one now that one was well up for it uh and yeah let's just get back to fishing Whew, not a massive fish 78 centimeters but it'll uh yeah cheer you up when you can't feel your fingers that's for sure so yeah keep this one on now Hopefully get some more fish. Okay, there goes the first fish. I've just checked, I've been out less than an hour, about 45 minutes. So that's not too bad going. Got some beauty scars in the head of that. You can tell he's took that head first. So, yeah. Oh, see if we can get another one now. That one's right in the edge, that. But it hit it really, really aggressively, which is a very good sign. So hopefully we can get in front of another pike and get another aggressive hit. We'll see though. Big swim baits, draw them fish out. Like I said earlier, you don't have to be targeting big fish to use big baits. It's all about drawing them in. Like even a small fish, you're gonna get more hits on a bigger bait in my opinion at this time of year. Um, Unless they're really slow on the bottom and then you, you know, bottom bouncing jigs is the way to go. But if you are fishing swim baits, personally, I find the bigger ones do better. Stoked to land that fish though. That was, uh, yeah, so good. I've missed that feeling. such a good hit oh that tree i had wow this is a powerful fish holy cow i can't press my goddamn clutch because my hands that cold Ooh, this is a nice fish let me drag off a bit please stay on okay feels nice i'm not sure if it is it didn't look that big but it feels solid as a rock Okay, that was such a good hit. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, so cool, please don't come off, buddy. This feels really, oh, it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish, guys. Go big or go home. Yes. Yes, second fish of the day. It's a, oh, it's not a 20 pounder, I don't think, but it's a 
at least a mid double oh yes so happy with that oh. <laughs> I can't believe it Let me get back. No, 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 no. <laughs> he knows there's a hole in my net oh, I might be no it's not a 20 I said it might be a 20 but it's not long enough and now it's wrapped in my net. Okay, I've got my mat set up. So I've got a little bit of effort to unhook. It's hooked pretty awkward, but look at this little fat pike. Such a nice fish from this little drain. Ooh, so thick. That's got me 15, 16 pounds at least. Well happy with that. Get a quick length on it and a weight. Oh, it's not even a metre. It's 97 centimetres so it's not going to be 20 pounds but so fat such a cool fish a quick weight in the net uh, okay it's pretty big it's eight point Jeez, 8.9 kilo with a net. Last quick look at this fish. Look at that beauty. We'll get it put back anyway. And where she goes. Oh, yes. That is awesome. Quite active right now as well. Another one that barrel roll and mess everything up in the net. Had to cut the. I was it was hooked. She was hooked in the left, but I had to cut the wire um, just because the net was all tangled and everything. So I'll bang a new rig on this. <sighs> so happy with that. All right, guys. Second pack of the day. Approximately eight kilo. So. Quite a fish again. 26 centimeter coffee roach. Man, go big or go home. So glad I went for a big bait today. Awesome stuff. Let's get fishing again. I can't believe that I had that fish though. I was expecting a couple of small ones today, but yeah, I'll take an eight kilo pike any day. <laughs> okay. Absolutely filthy now. Um Problem with this time of year, it's just getting muddy as hell when you're landing fish. Like, even with the unhooking mat and everything, he's yeah, not the best, but I'll put a new rig on this anyway. Um, just took off the Mahi Mahi one. Um, slightly shorter rig with slightly bigger hooks, but it should still hook up pretty good. Hopefully, anyway, we'll see. But yeah, there we go, second fish. Absolute slob. That's been eating really good. Want another big roach though? <laughs> oh man, that put up such a good like fight at the start. Like I saw it, it didn't look big at all in the water. Um, but yeah, solid fish. Like I say not a giant, but I've had worse, that's for sure. There's another fish. Oh, it's gone. That was a small one, that. That was like right out in the middle of the river, that. Nice hit again, though. But yeah, it looked, it looked small. But it hit it real nice. Got a shorter rig on this, so. I was expecting to miss a few fish, but nice to get another hit there. Yeah, didn't even pull the hooks out. There we go, another hit. That was actually the first fish I've missed today. Little sniper, but I'd have taken that. Always nice to catch fish when it's, um, well, anytime, but especially when it's cold and miserable like it is today. There's another one. There we go. Oh, it's gone again. Man, I wish I didn't change this rig. That was a nicer fish, that. Again, middle of the river. Oh, man. 
I knew this rig was not, not going to hook me as many fish, but two in a row. <coughs> two in a row that I've missed, not good. Not good at all. I might actually change this rig again, to be fair now. Not a big fish, probably as big as that first one I landed, but it's definitely nicer than that last one I missed. That's so annoying. Right, basically mid, <coughs> mid drain that. No. Right in front of me. I've passed past that lure I said probably three or four times already. Okay, that's three missed now. That was that one didn't hit as hard that one. But oh, man. Yeah, didn't even pull the hooks. So yeah, proper didn't hit it hard, but whew, another hit at least. That's <laughs> just a little fish. So three missed. Two caught, at least I landed the big one, that's always, always good. I'm gonna call it in a minute. My hands are freezing, I can barely move them now to be fair. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's basically it really, I'm freezing cold. We've caught two fish, we missed three, we've had a pretty good session, I've only fished for two and a half hours, something like that, but yeah, it's been good. I'm gonna give it another 15 more minutes, see if we get another fish. And if not, that'll be it. But I don't know, there's always a chance. We're in a pretty good area, so. Hopefully, we'll get one. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I'm absolutely freezing cold. Can't feel my fingers. Uh, it's raining. It's miserable. Uh, but we caught some fish. Got two pint landed and a really big one as well, which I was well happy with. Missed three, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, it's what happens. Um, and yeah. About two and a half hours fishing. So I could uh, stick, I'm a bit soft. So yeah, maybe next time we'll stay out a bit longer. But 26 centimeter coffee roach. It's that big, can't even fit it in the uh, camera screen. But yeah, I'll put a link in the description to that. Awesome bait, especially like I say, this colored water. It's, uh, you need that big profile, push a lot of water, make a lot of disturbance and draw the fish in like, when it, everyone knows when it's this cold it's not easy to get the fish to bite and uh yeah we did all right today so i am gonna go home warm my hands up i did say i was gonna explain why i've not been fishing for two months kind of forgot about that but basically i just got burnt out and thought rather than keep pushing myself to do it when i'm not enjoying it i'll just take two months off get a normal job and uh wait till i feel like i want to fish again which is now so yeah, hopefully we'll have uh, plenty more content to come. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Let me know any other videos you want to see. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.